This kid's base got griefed. His base is destroyed. There's issues all over it. So we found the best TikTok base hacks to transform this base into something beautiful. You will not recognize this by the end. You guys are going to have a completely inspired idea for what you can do to your base. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to focus on is making the outside of this guy's base look good. Because right now it is a wasteland. This is a beautiful and peaceful floating planter to pull together the entire base. Now we don't have all these blocks on my server. We're going to get creative and make it our own. Let's get to work. A pig just spawned. A pig. <laughs> and this one is really going to pull together the front of the base. So check it out. Yeah, we're putting in some work on this base. I'll tell you that. Man. I'm actually excited for him to see it when we get done. So we've got all these little flower hacks built around the outside of the base. Not all of them translate into the version we're using, but they look pretty sweet, all right? No base is complete without a beautiful outdoor well. So we're gonna take a look at this beautiful design right here and try to incorporate this into the build in our own way. Oh, the cauldron with water is quite smart. Oh, 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 I like that. I like that, it looks really clean. Oh, iron bars. Oh my gosh, this is like something you could do on my version. Yo, all right, let's go ahead and do this. This is fire. I wanna make an addition to your koi pond right here. This hack's gonna tie in perfectly, guys. So we'll make ours more modern. Yo, there's like full on fish being formed out there. I don't know how they're doing that, but this is coming together nicely. The well is gonna make a lot of sense here next to the beautiful build. All right, so take a look at this beautiful design. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's so nice. Like, theirs uses wood on top, but I feel like since we got a modern house, we want a modern well. And I don't think modern people even got wells, but we're gonna try our best here to do it anyway. That feels more modern to me. And then they used hay in the middle. We're gonna use gray sand because that gray white feels kind of clean. You know what I'm saying? Gray white, and then we'll use the rail. Okay, my staff member said this fountain's ugly and I honestly kind of agree a little bit. That's why I'm trying to improve it a little bit here. Wait, why is there a pool in the front of the house? That's literally the front door. Okay, it's a lazy river that goes around the house because it's diorite. I had to make a love tunnel, Zach. <laughs> what, you just walk outside into a tunnel? Put some lily pads across it. Stop complaining. Look at that. Now you're fancy. So guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. This isn't my favorite well build hack I've ever seen. It's not bad. It came out decent, but like, I don't know. This is a top piece. Kind of looks weird. I'm giving this a two out of 10. We're gonna improve it to make it a 10 out of 10. Thanks to Core for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of them already, guys, Core is a brand new platform that allows you to create and play games for free. Core uses Unreal Engine, which means you could create anything or play anything from shooters to RPGs to Sims games to Minecraft games literally whatever you could think of is probably on here and if it's not you can make it you and your friends can make that game you've always dreamed of making the game that you've thought about for years you can now do with this technology that they've developed the best part is that not only is it free to use but the music is free the assets are free the artwork is free the sound effects are free all of it is free and you don't have to know how to code which makes it such an incredible in my opinion platform that you should definitely check out guys this is Core's character creation screen it is incredible because you get all these cool characters to pick you get to use this in any of the games you play so it transfers around. I want to show you today a little bit about how you actually create a game. So you can just literally create a project, call it Loverfella Rocks, and then you literally get this screen to build your game out of. Like this is it. It's a drag and drop sty style game. Like you can do whatever you want in here. So these are all of the games right now that are on here. You can see some of them have tens of thousands of people playing them literally right now, which is absolutely insane. All right, I'm just checking this one out because it caught my attention because I want to see if it's possible. It looks like someone recreated all the Fall Guys inside of this, which is kind of cool. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at this. Someone literally recreated fall guys in here oh my gosh dude this is kind of freaking beautiful man i want to do one of these what the heck this is such a nice little skin thing by the way i absolutely love this thank you so much to core for sponsoring today's video guys if you have any interest in learning how to create games this is an amazing spot to start please click the link below to support them because it is a fantastic company now back to the video we need to know how to make ponds look better and that's what i'm about to show you right here so for this one they're using the newest version we're going to try to make it our own version by placing trap doors in the water and they actually make it look like a little bit of a bird egg on a lily pad okay that's pretty good look at all the detail they put into this you got some pond hacks I got some pond hacks. Oh, wait, Zach, you see Jerome? Oh, there's a full on fish in here. Hey, Jerome. How about that for a build hack, Zach? All right, this one actually looks like it might work, folks. I actually really like this andesite. That looks pretty clean. Look at the swan going through the love tunnel. That doesn't look like a swan? No, no, no. Look at the face. Go around and look at the face. Dude, it's literally scraping its head on the roof. This tunnel's way too small. It's a giant swan. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, we're putting a lot of effort into the outside of this base because that's what we're trying to teach you guys today. So I'm going to start incorporating them now around this pond. And I think it's going to look kind of sweet. All right, guys, check it out. We've got little tiny flowers around the side of the pond. We changed it from what we used earlier, and this actually looks freaking fire. This is coming together. So we got our baby ferns in the corners. We need a little bit more inside of this water, though, to spruce it up like this friend did there. Bringing a little life into this water. All right, giving these fish a little something to play in. Scatter some coral throughout. Sea lanterns and sea pickles. Also, I don't know how our horse got in the water. He's taking a dip, though. And finally, the sea lanterns. 
All right, guys, and this is what the pond looks like by adding all of these hacks. It really just brought some life into it. It's got baby eggs. It's got little flower plants on the side. It's got a well over here still being worked on. And it's got literal fish inside of it. Our front entrance looking a little bit exotic here. Let's go to our next hack. What do we got? No base would be complete without this key piece right here. Do you know what it is? Yes, exactly. A bazooka. No, just kidding. It's <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, an actual jacuzzi. So you start with this little shape right here. Put some stairs. Put a seat. A light. Very beautiful design. I love it. We're going to spruce it up and make ours even better. You can obviously improve that. Let's do it. This is the thing, Zach. I was given a shark jumping over a bridge. Oh, <laughs> dude, why is it so big? We're trying to improve yeah, the base. I, it's this a is bad. Build. We are here to make it's a good build. Funny. We'll turn this into a deck right here. All right, guys, so I just redid the entire roof to set up the foundation for our new jacuzzi, which will be on top of Isaac's swan zone, which is going to become the hot tub zone. I know it looks a little bit messy now. So there's uses some stairs and a bunch of trap doors. So for ours, we'll put the jacuzzi right here. And then we want to make the basic shape. Integrate the house colors. All right, guys, so here's the basis of our jacuzzi on the top of their decks. All right, you walk into it. You come right down here. A beautiful view over the balcony. Honestly, it's, it's freaking picturesque. It's beautiful. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want people to risk their lives while they're on top of our beautiful balcony here. I'm going for an immaculate vibe up here. Now the piece de resistance. Will the water actually place in here? Looks like it will. That's a good win. And it covers up the stairs. Yo, this looks freaking good. But that looks freaking awesome. Let's go. What are we building? We're trying to upgrade a noob's base. I'm doing house hacks to upgrade it. Isaac is building random challenges throughout that we have to somehow integrate and make look good. And Ben is actually the only one today that seems to be really making this base look good. Ben, good job. You're clutching it today. Thank uh, you. Are. Hello? Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. We have yeah. a full on hey, shark. Look what hey, Isaac hey. now has, but it's not jumping. To be honest with you here, guys, I added Jerome and now I added Sally the shark. I'm doing real good things today. Next up, we gotta get some animals into this base. We need birds. So that's where we're gonna make the world's greatest bird feeder. Start with cobblestone, start with a little bit of spruce, get up to the top, and you build a beautiful birdhouse. Look at this. So that's what it looks like, all right? We'll make it look good. Check it out. Ben, look what I made you. Look what I made you. It's a bird Ooh. feeder, dude. Go ahead and uh, tame this parrot, Ben. Name it moist and put it on the bird feeder. This will look clean. I love this farm. This guy's literally not going to recognize the base. There was once a mountain here. Man, this is the wild. Are they still bird boxes up here? Who built these? Me, they're uh, bird feeders. I'll be honest, that is a good hack right there. <laughs> I know, all right? All right, so his base is coming together. I think we need some trees around here. All right, we put in all this work, guys. We need to slow down and relax. And that's why we're building a hammock coming up next. A beautiful hammock. Take a look at what this guy does. Build the tree. Part of this build is to build the tree. So you got to have your trees, I guess, look a specific way. Oh, 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 oh. And then you open it up and you put the bed in the middle and it actually kind of looks like a hammock. This is a solid quality hammock build. Well, let's pull that off. All right, we got our trees built. They look really weird to be growing in opposite directions, but I guess that's how you do it. And I think I also made it wrong, so that kind of sucks. If we can make one squiggle tree, one regular tree, put our bed in the middle. Yes, this is looking good. It's actually working. And you put a trap, oops, trap door on each of these. And then I believe they use signs on the side. This might be the best hammock I've ever seen. Let's see if it works though. You want to place trap doors under it. Got yourself a little hammock. That's actually not bad. I'm going to label it just so people know. My cozy hammock and then i'll even spruce it up with some rose bushes and make it just a total vibe see now come nighttime you get to sit down in your hammock outside and enjoy oh my gosh this is coming together we got the shark y'all this is freaking fire i'll be honest that looks more like a nice rose right <laughs> it still looks pretty cool all right quick intermediary upgrade for the base he honestly has no doors and he probably should get some at this point so we'll give him some doors much better <laughs> Oh, this guy has his first pickaxe on the wall. We can't touch that. He has his first pickaxe, his first armor. Oh, so cute. Upstairs, very cramped. Not a lot of room here. Gonna need to clean this out. Let's give him a row of furnaces on the ground. All right, that looks a lot more clean than where they were. Look at how much better it looks. The centerpiece of this base is the bridge, and it's ugly, so we gotta spruce it up. Oh, this is interesting. So we're using cobblestone and a site, so we're gonna try to use more modern blocks if we can. Oh, 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 this is actually pretty good. Wow, that's a beautiful bridge. We're gonna try this, guys. I don't know if we have enough room to make it that big, but we're gonna see what we can do with a bridge build upgrade. Oh, man. Yo, look at this bridge I just made. I just upgraded the front of this house so much. Oh. That is honestly fire. Ready? Yeah, right? Because that bridge made me moist. He likes it. He likes it, guys. That's a <laughs> great bridge right it. there. The next hack we need is a freaking bonfire outside this base. This is this is what we need. We need some kind of landscaping to pull it all together. A nice little campfire right in the center of this. Oh, the, the landscaping is freaking nice. This has a vibe. It's immaculate. We need to make it happen. We need it in a nice little point zone. Oh my gosh, the horse-drawn buggy is complete. It is looking good. Oh, 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 oh. horse-drawn buggy. Thing? You know what? That's not bad, dude. That's <laughs> a pretty you. darn good buggy. 
That was a little fire pit out back, eh? One of the most annoying things where I grew up is we had a fire pit out back, but we couldn't just walk down the stairs to get there. We had to actually go outside, so I'm making a staircase that leads right to it. Look at this. Look at the back fireplace zone that connects up. Look, you can just walk straight out. Yeah, it's a little bit dangerous, but you can get right down just like that. Beautiful. Oh, don't fall off. Yeah, don't fall <laughs> off. We've got all this beautiful stuff here, but we need something more practical for this base. And that, my friends, can you guess it? Can you guess it? Can you guess it? Yes, a scarecrow. <laughs> You're using string and carpet. I love the freaking, the, 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 that is the face. Oh, that's the hat. Oh my gosh, this is literally brilliant. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I gotta make that. That's too good. Pop, you're about uh, to love what I'm adding to your farm, by the way. Oh, a scarecrow? <laughs> I'm interested to see how this is going to turn into a scarecrow. Oh, is that the eyes? <laughs> wait, wait, Ben, ready? <laughs> I don't know about that, Zach. I know it's a struggle, guys. This is a very challenging build to make this one, Ben. You see it yet? Boom! Look at that, Ben. It's <laughs> not bad. You have never seen a scarecrow this good in your life, and you know it. Got himself a little farmer hat and everything. Now, you remember when we started, the base looked like this. Now, it looks like this. One thing we need to do still is actually upgrade the base. You want to help me move these chests, Ben? You do downstairs, I'll do upstairs. Got to clear Don't out all these AFK. chests. This chest room is killing me. I don't like it. I feel like he randomly placed them and never went through the pain of doing what we're doing right now. All right, well, at least the upstairs is a little bit better, but trying to upgrade his little tiny base here to make it functional. Ben, you're actually not doing too bad here. The double enchantment table, excessive. Yeah, the ceiling sucks. Bothers me. <laughs> but it's what he's getting. What if we just got rid of the second floor? No, hold on, hold on. No, look, look, look. We can get rid of the second floor and just leave the back half. What's oh, it? like a loft. Yeah, but what was Pop gonna do? Oh. Oh. Whoa, whoa, that's not what I had in mind. You know what? Okay. That's good. I like that. Why are you changing the base? He had a good base. We're just giving it a boost. We'll put the ladder right here. Bed upstairs. Everyone's like trying to clutch up the inside now. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, Isaac? What? I told you, <laughs> it's a pterodactyl. Oh no. I got no. This is horrible. No, I'm giving the outside just a little touch up here and then I think we're about ready. I feel like I'm frosting the cake here. Just the final details. The lower deck, man, that's fire. That's the, look at the sick. Mountain. Like, look at the landscaping. Wow. <laughs> I mean, honestly, at the beginning, I was worried it wouldn't come together, and then Isaac made the pterodactyl, and it was so much worse than I thought. Zach, it looks good. <laughs> Guys, it's well, time to now enough. surprise him with this base full of TikTok hacks and all of Isaac's challenges. That is supposedly a pterodactyl he built. What's up, Koopsie? Yeah. Are you ready to see your brand new base? You've got a giant sand wall in front of you. That sand wall shows your entire base. Drop that wall. Oh, Here we go. Dear. Look behind you. Look oh, behind you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. There it is. Oh, my God. This is awesome. So you'll notice a couple of surprises throughout. Amish buggy over here. Giant pterodactyl right there. I am actually stupid. <laughs> this looks awesome. We upgraded your base just a little bit on the cool. inside. Try to make it a little bigger. Thank you so much. I'm so you know happy. What? Come on up to the roof. This leads to, there's the pterodactyl right there. Massive pterodactyl brings you downstairs to your private hot tub with a view. This is above the love tunnel, by the way. Down here is your uh, campfire, of course. One of the coolest parts is underneath there's actually a giant cave. Look it's at this. Fun. You got your yeah, own private like cave down here. I know. It's awesome. This is actually probably the coolest thing. <laughs> Kristen, enjoy the base. We'll claim it and get it transferred over to you. Bye, Kristen. Bye. You're so cute. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Minecraft House, Flip <laughs> Minecraft House Flippers. If you want to see more, please watch the entire playlist. We have flipped 20 bases, maybe even more. You guys will love it. Thanks again to Core for sponsoring today's video. Check out the link in the description. Look at that screen. <laughs>